Normally I prefer scripting languages, but now let's get into a little bit of uh, uh, compiled languages and we're going to start with C. So I'm going to do a series of C programming here over the next couple of days slash weeks. Just some basic stuff. So let's start in my terminal here. I am going to create a new text file and I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, but you can use whatever text editor you prefer. I'm just going to call this hello.c and this will be our C code. And we're going to start off by adding a header file. And this is just going to be uh, a header file basically has preset stuff so you don't have to work through all the small details of the programming. It's something kind of pre-designed for you. And for most of the uh, code we're going to write, we're going to include this stdio.h file, this header file. So we start off our code with that, pound, include, and then whatever header files we're going to include. Now we're going to make our function. This is going to be our, our main function. So this is going to be the first function that we'll loop through uh, in the program. So we're going to NIT, which I believe stands for initiate, maybe, or integer. Anyway, uh, NIT space, and we'll say main, and then uh, brackets. Uh, then we're going to add a squiggly bracket. And I'm going to hit enter twice now and close that squiggly bracket. So anything in between these two squiggly brackets are going to be our function. And we're just going to simply type, I hit tab to indent just to keep things proper, although you don't have to. Print, and then in these parentheses I'm going to put quotations, hello world. Now at this point, we would want to put backslash n, but I'm not going to do that first just so you can see the difference. So. Hello world, inside parentheses, inside the brackets. And in C, you want to end every command with a semicolon. If you don't do that, you'll get an error because it doesn't know where one command's ending and another one begins. Then we're going to return zero and then semicolon. That's just letting it so when the program exits or this function exits, it's going to return a zero or a one, true or false. And that's mainly important if you're going to be. Um, checking the whether that function ran properly or not f within another function or another program not going to worry about that too much now but you want to end with return zero I hope I'm explaining this well I'm more of a bash script guy so I know how to do some C but I just may not know how to explain it well anyway that's our code but now we need to compile it so I'm going to go G plus plus because I'm using that that's my compiler you may use a different one if you don't already have it installed, it should be in your repositories. Then the name of our C file, so G++, hello.c, and then our output file, so dash O for output, and then whatever we want to name our program, I'll just call it hello, and I'm going to hit enter, and I must have typed something wrong. Let's see. Oh, I know what I did wrong. It told me print. It's supposed to be print F. So, once again, I like to make mistakes in front of you. That way, if you make the same mistake, you don't freak out because now you know it's print F, not print. So we got to try to compile it again. So G++, the name of our C file, and then dash O for output, the name of our output file. We hit enter. Didn't get any error messages, so our f program should be ready to go. Dot forward slash, and the name of our program, which is hello. I'll hit enter, and we get hello world here. Now you notice how that's all on one line. Makes it a little difficult to read, isn't very clear. And the reason for that, as I said earlier, I was going to come back and show you this. We're going to put backslash n here. Oops. Backslash n here. I don't know how my caps lock got on. And that, at least in the Unix world, backslash n is the symbol for a new line. So that's like hitting enter after typing hello world. So we will save that. We have to recompile it now. So G++, hello.c, dash O for output, and the name of our output file. Got no errors, the good to go. Dot slash, and the name of our compiled program. And you can see this time it did hello world, and then added a new line before it put out our command prompt. And that is how you make a hello world program in C. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day!